Let's start with Irma here. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. Winds at 150 miles per hour, possibly re-strengthening a bit back up to winds with 155 miles per hour and staying a major hurricane as it most likely makes landfall in South Florida on Sunday. Hurricane supplies are going fast. Flashlights and D batteries are sold out. Seas are almost gone. The store manager tells me the store is now out of water. Yeah, this is interesting. It just made landfall on the northern coast of Cuba as a Category 5 hurricane, and uh, it is uh, just a few hundred miles away from South Florida at this point. The National Hurricane Center is reporting that Hurricane Irma remains a dangerous and life-threatening Category 5 storm with winds of 185 miles per hour. If you're told to evacuate, get out quickly. Palm Beach County has issued a mandatory evacuation order for Zones A and B that includes mobile home park communities and also includes much of the town of Palm Beach, among other areas in the island. As soon as the storm started coming, we started packing. It is pretty busy, and that's what we've been seeing here all day along. Very busy conditions, but as you can see, it is moving quickly right now. But don't be fooled. Further up north, you're getting the more traffic you will encounter. I've also heard from people that say it takes them about six hours to just get to Orlando from here. An overnight storm moving in uh, is just because you can't see anything and all you can do is hear it. Uh, so incredibly stressful. It is raining outside in West Palm Beach. Let's just go right outside, right here at the station, uh, upstairs with more on Hurricane uh, Irma's arrival with uh, T.A. Walker. T.A., uh, how, how's it feeling out there? Well, I was about to tell you that there was no rain and there was just light wind gust and uh, it was kind of hot and sticky out here. And now the conditions just changed right when we went on the air and it's just started pouring down rain. There's lots of rain off the lake outside the TV station and the palm trees are swaying pretty heavily. So conditions change rapidly. You know, it's calm in one second and then all of a sudden you have a quite different kind of weather. Uh, palm Beach County, we're looking at about 9,500 people are out of power right now. We've got the potential for rotation in these storms. Now we've got lightning danger also and also the just the torrential rainfall. Things are serious here in Boynton Beach. Um, we definitely uh, had to get out of the main area there though because we didn't feel like it was necessarily the safest location but this is the strongest by far that we have seen this morning. The threat of the strongest winds is on the west coast but we, we were still expecting some of those big feeder bands coming in and bringing us tropical storm force winds but the threat of uh, strong damaging winds at the coastline is dropping. I mean, look at those waves. Of course they're very impressive but some people that I've been speaking to say that they are glad that Irma is taking a more westerly turn. The entire state of Florida it's underneath this storm system and this is such a big storm system 500 miles across uh, at one point it was the size of Texas and uh, Florida uh, at least the, the peninsula is about 130 miles across so you can see that the storm system actually covers that and more so this is just a huge storm system even though this storm is on the western side of the uh, state is still huge and large about the size of Texas and what we're doing we're getting the rain man so everyone's safety we ask everybody to buckle down and uh, be at a shelter, or stay at home or somewhere safe. A uh, quick look at Irma winds at 75 miles per hour. It's pretty incredible considering yesterday morning at this time winds were at 140 miles per hour. So it certainly has weakened tremendously during its track over land here, which happens all the time when storms move over land. As Hurricane Irma is making its way up the coast, we're also starting to notice some damage. Uh, we encountered this and no doubt you will too. What you saw in Key West is um, you saw the boats damaged, you saw some houses damaged, you saw some roofs damaged. Hope everybody survived. Behind me, you can see what's left of this mobile home park. Irma showed no mercy here. Many have lost their homes, and those who stayed say it was a terrifying experience. It, it was like it was never going to end. You get so used to seeing things a certain way. <laughs> And that it's, it's just gone. We came across uh, Taylor Creek RV Resort. I want to show you guys the damage that we're talking about here. Take a look at this marina at Taylor Creek RV Resort, uh, completely uh, toppled over. We also have some uh, power lines down here as well. But you can see uh, some of these boats, the damage on these boats at this marina. Uh, we're here with Kerry Stark. He's a, a neighbor. Uh, here, he lives in this neighborhood, uh, saw and heard some of the damage this morning. Carrie, what did you see? Well, at first I didn't see anything. 
we heard it. I mean, it's like everybody here, a tornado sounds like a freight train coming through, and it does. Um, we thought it was just bands of the wind coming through. Pretty soon the police showed up. They told us, no, this, this was a tornado that had come through. He was watching over us, man. We're here at King's Point, an apartment complex in Delray Beach. And as you can see behind me, the roof on one of the buildings has totally collapsed. We, see, we saw a lot of damage. In Central Florida and Orlando area, we're seeing flooding due to a torrential rain of more than a foot. The heaviest winds have now left Florida, but the entire peninsula experienced at least tropical force winds with hurricane gusts being felt as far east and north as Jacksonville. There's devastation. Um, it's it's uh, and you know I, I just I just hope everybody um, you know survived. It's uh, it's 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 horrible what we saw. I think we were spared, uh, and now it's just time for us to roll up our sleeves and get to work.